Hi, my name is Ryan Wesley and I'm a um, canoe slalom paddler for Great Britain, um, which means I'm lucky enough to be supported by UK Sport and Lottery funding um, to train full time in the support of canoe slalom, um, which hopefully there'll be some video for you to see, uh, makes it probably a bit easier than me explaining it. A day in my life will look like I get up at about 7 o'clock in the morning, um, have some breakfast uh, and as I'm getting a bit, bit later on in my career now I do quite a lot of stretching and mobility stuff uh, and then I'm really lucky to live about 10 minutes walk from where I train so I walk down there, um, go into the office, get my kit and my boat out ready, get on the water, a nice little warm up and it's really important to, uh, to make sure I don't injure myself, I'll probably paddle around on the flat water then for about 10 minutes. Here where I train we're on an artificial river, um, it's built out of concrete and we have a nice conveyor belt, a bit like you get at the supermarket to carry, your, um, carry yourself up to the top of the course, so go around there. Um, yeah, the session, the session will be about four or five runs around the river, doing lots of different gates, trying not to hit them, have my coach on the bank who will give me some good feedback and he'll video it on an iPad. Um, so once the session's finished, which takes about an hour, we'll go back inside, get changed, get warm and dry, uh, and then we'll sit down and watch that video and discuss, discuss the learning from the session, what went on, uh, and how to do it better next time. Um, and then yeah, go back home, sit around, have some food, not do very much, walk the dog if I'm lucky. Um, and then it's just all about the recovery and the, you know, you can't do too much so you've got to wait and you've got to recover. And I normally go back in at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon for a gym session. I'm really lucky to have like a strength and conditioning coach that tells me everything I need to do. Um, so that'll be about 2 hours in the afternoon, lifting weights in the gym. Um, it's all you know, really focused around making sure that the upper body is really strong. Pretty simple stuff, and then yeah, I come home from that and have a bit more a you know, protein shake or something like that. A bit more food, and then it's back to recovery and going again. So, how did you get into canoe slalom, and what have you had to do to get to the level that you're at now? Uh, I was I was really lucky that my my dad did canoeing and did a bit of canoe slalom as well. Um, so he got me in a boat when I was really little, I think I was like three years old when I first got in a boat. But back then, you know, it was all, it was all for fun. And, you know, I used to play a lot of different sports and you just go out there and try and enjoy it as much as possible. Spend as much time doing it. I think that's really important. Whatever you want to be good at, whatever you want to do, just try and do it as much as possible. Um, and then as I, as I got older, I slowly got into the racing. And I think I've always been quite a competitive person, so as soon as I got into the racing, then I really found, you know, like an extra level and an extra, an extra bit of love for it. What is your favourite part of the job and why? Uh, my favourite part of the job is definitely the racing. This is what we train for all the time. Hopefully if you make the British team, um, you get world championships and the European championships every year and you know they're generally in some nice places in, in Europe or around the world and you know it's that culmination of all the effort that you've put in over the last for me now over you know nearly 20 years of, of training and you go out there and 
give it everything on that day and that's definitely the most exciting part and you know you've got a bit of a crowd there the sun's normally shining so we've got the races in the summer you get to see the results and you get to pit yourself against other people who are trying to do the same thing and hopefully if you're lucky you get to come out on top and you know winning a medal in those kind of situations is just the, one of the best things you can do So in the in the winter it is a significantly harder job than in the summer. I've had times where my hair will freeze to my helmet, um, your hands will get really, really cold, uh, you have to put on loads more layers. Good morning. You're warm enough, sorry. Oh yeah, I'm actually wrapped up warmer than you for once. <laughs> what do you do on those cold winter days when you don't want to go canoeing? What, how do you talk yourself into it? I suppose yeah. those yeah, the hard days you just you know how much every session counts so no matter how cold it is and how much you don't want to do something if you know where you're going if you've got a goal in mind it makes even the hardest and potentially the most boring parts of it so much more worth it and you understand why you're doing them and that that makes them easier to get through in the winter time what do british canoeing provide for you to help with those uh, tough yeah. winter sessions <laughs> We're um, we're really lucky as well, and every winter from January, February, we get about a month where we get to go abroad, either to Australia or to Dubai, to go, you know, go and find the sun. We're really lucky that British Canoeing and UK Sport provide us the funding to do that.